Sea race, complete a mission for the... Okay. So deliver an export vehicle. That's a pain. <clears throat> you wouldn't think, but it's hard to, to even have any. So you gotta be there. You only get that text once a day, so if you're not there... We'll see. We'll see. <coughs> Try to push it over thirty. Phantom wedge, phantom wedge, do 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 do, phantom wedge, phantom wedge, do 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 do. Okay, we're dropping these shipments out of the way. Take a dune buggy and head Whoa. for the markers. This one is time sensitive. In case you wondered. The Phantom Witch, Phantom Witch doesn't always work. Yes. And the first two here, here, here. Bleh. Okay. Then we got. Man, there's no good way of doing that. You know, you know what? We're gonna let the we're gonna let ourselves be assaulted along those lines. Let's go here, hit those three, and then we'll cut across the axis. Although I could hit this one and then get no. Oh, there's just no good way of doing it. They've got a perfectly crapped up pattern. Right now. Let's go downtown first. Maybe we can use main highways. I hate the buggy mission. But I'm due. Did I miss a turn? Avoiding that truck? This little deal, I hardly even see it there. GPS is dynamite. Hopefully, this is a shortcut. Heavens to Murgatron. Alright, that's the sight you don't often see. We're just gonna forge ahead.
the good news is, is that's not a very maneuverable vehicle. So, a little bit of speed, a little bit of being a small little buggy, we should do well. Taking kind of a risk by going a little bit further for the first one, which on the plus side should mean that I have less time being assaulted, but they don't really, the AI doesn't start hunting until after the first drop. Plus, we should be able then to go in organized fashion. Oh, this is one of those things. What did you do? Get out of my way. Everyone is like not exactly where the GPS is tell you. Lock it up, send it, go. That's what you get. That's what you get. Did you see what they got? Put that right to apex of the turn. Either we're gonna blow them up or we're gonna blow up enough stuff that they won't be able to drive through it. So we're just gonna use our enhanced speed here. They're not gonna close once they're behind. No way those dumpsters are gonna out imagine a buggy. Unless one of the AI here just gets in my way, which is what I always say. I have no sympathy for, for the AI. I think I teleported in. Teleportation. If you have teleportation, why would you want the crap that I have? Just beam it from wherever you want. You don't need to come after me if you just beam in. But this is Star Trek. Well, then, you know, why are you, what are you even doing? Skip and jump over to that one. Hop, skip and a jump. Hop, here's a jump. Whee! Let's get that skip going. Let's see, why am I going off road when there's a perfectly usable road? It's, well, they're going to have trouble following me up this way. They won't have trouble following me on the perfectly usable road. Which we have to go down. Yeah. We want to keep doing that. Let's cut across everything here. Ah. That, well, the tree, you know, again, I don't know that trees, trees are tough things, they grant you. I don't know that I could go over the... I think I need some usable road here at that point. I tell you what, we have to kind of go around some of this. It's only a mile and a half away. We're at seven minutes. We should be doing okay. Right that really was really kind of surprising. I don't know why it was surprising. It was, you know what was really surprising? The other guy just blew up for no reason. I'm just going for milk, you know. It's, you're going for milk in a place where you shouldn't go for milk because people are driving around in buggies dropping mines. I have to be careful around there because I do have to come back.
There's one. Two. Okay, we don't have to be careful. Oh, be careful we don't drive off into the water. I mean, that was... Did I mention that I hate buggy stuff? Come on. The only good news is, is that that means because we picked this as the last project, that phone call.
And that, I believe, is everything sold. Next time you see those weapons, they'll be on the news. How you doing? Catch you soon. Let me do my thing. All right, phone call is over, but that's a good, let's see. Stop griefing, oh my God, I'm legit level 13. Okay, well, if there's griefers, we want to dare the griefers. Yeah, we might as well dare the griefers. Dare them. We're at 30 mil. Now, there's some things I do want to buy. get into that in a little bit. Confirm. Okay, okay. We're gonna sell this stuff. And there might be a cash bonus in it as well. If and only if the delivery vehicle looks decent when he inspects it. That means don't bang it around. You can do that, right? You can get this one a lot. Okay, I think the only thing we have to worry about here are griefers. That's about it. I think when we get start getting closer into the downtown here a little bit, we're gonna ghost it. I mean, not necessarily immediately, because we don't want it, we want it to be able to, as we're entering the, the zone of, oh, look who's here, when people start seeing us on their local radars, 
then we start to then we can ping off and then make the drop and then get out of town before they really before we're worth the bother you know it's like we want to be out of town and out, out of range of their attention I'm sure we've talked about this before the, the, the theory behind when you go ghost now you don't want to do it too late because then they're going to have an idea I think that's a good time start seeing people on your own map, boom. The Black Knight has gone, you know, has gone, go. you have activated Ghost Organization. They know. Base and System Services has activated. Base has activated Ghost. That's just, we're ghosting. You can't see me. It would be interesting, and I, I tell you what, you know what would be would truly interesting for GTA 6 is if everybody was just always in Ghost. Like, it, really, you think about it, who has radar? Radar is not a thing, really, and you can't, I can't tell who's around me with, in real life, necessarily. I, mean, I guess you could say tracking phones, but I mean, it should be a more active thing. I mean, that would be... Wonderful for griefers, too, because if they could, you know, sneak up on people, but how do they find them to sneak up on them? I mean, that's probably why they have the radar, to encourage the encounters. Okay, so we're ghosts, but you can certainly see us. I'm in an orange van. We'll hammer down. As far as the cash bonus is concerned, I'm looking at it this way. The uh, the ghost cost 12k, the bonus was 10, so all we're doing is reducing the uh, the discount on our ghost. How's that sound? When we hit stuff. But right now we are going to haul ass out of town because the further away we get, the better off we are. The, the better our odds of you can afford to live. Not good to cut corners around here. I've tried that and very end up using the up and atomizer. There's a couple of places where that's happened. Let's get a couple low riders because they're on sale. And then before the 30, I'm still pondering getting some Luxos. The, the private jets. Why? Just to have. Literally useless things that are just to have. The Luxor Deluxe, normally a $10 million plane, and one of the stupidest things you can buy in game. It's currently. There's my car. It's currently only going for two million. So you save eight million, but you're really just wasting two million on something that's useless. But prestigious in that very rich, stupid people have them. But I don't know. I've got till the 30th on the Twitch Prime sale on that. I'm tempted to get it because there might be at some point some kind of video I want to make. See, that's one of the things about being 
a video making gameplay. Like if I was just playing this game, no real reason to have that. But if I'm making playing this game and making videos, somewhere along the line I want to do a video with that playing it. It's gonna cost me ten million if I want to do it at the time. Of course, you, know, you get whatever set pieces you can as you can get them. I mean, I could just do it all right now and then see where I'm really at. As far as the 30 million is concerned. 30 million is kind of a magic number I'm trying to maintain in case there's a DLC. Oh, you gotta get it. Come on. Cash it. That was the guy's light turned on like I pulled up and he turned his light on. That was me. Oh, you're here with the stuff. Very good. Great. Okay. Looks like you're done here. I will fiddle the accounts and send you the money. Just another day in the life of nightclub maven Tony Prince. What I'm gonna do, this is... Hey, it's your dear friend Simeon. Give me a call sometime if you need some work. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, flying car. I haven't gotten the little notification to pick up these cars in a while, so I don't know if we're gonna get the dailies today. That's... We can do some of these things. First of all, we need a car. I shall get some of that later. Let's see if we can. We see. We're going to hold off doing the the dailies until we see if we get a car listing from Simeon. Now let's do the time warp again. <laughs> 